guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name's Terry, and I like to buy stuff, and you found Terry Buy Stuff. Hey, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button below, ring the bell, and that way you'll be notified of more shopping fun that happens here on this channel. So today, we are going to be in the Stuff House yard because we have Garden Reet. This is a landscape lighting kit that I wanna go over with you today. It's a low voltage landscaping kit. And here I'm gonna start to, kind of, it really came in a huge box. So I took all the contents out to kind of show you everything that was in the box. We're gonna go through this today, unpack it, see what these lights look like. As I understand it from Mr. Stuff, he is so excited to have these lights because they are truly made for outdoor lighting and they are going to withstand everything. We live in Las Vegas, so we have really kind of harsh weather conditions. This is gonna be the answer to that. So let's unbox this and take a look at exactly what comes in my kit. So starting over here, I have this little box here of replacement bulbs. Replacement is the key word, meaning that's how these last a lifetime. The actual lights in here, when a bulb burns out, we can replace it, unlike others where you just have to kind of toss away the whole light. So I love that I have four replacement bulbs ready to go. These are wiring waterproof caps. So I'm gonna take one out here. Oh, yeah, my husband said there was gel inside. Look at that, there's a gel inside. So when the wire goes in, kind of seals it all in there. These are fantastic. So I have all of that for all the wires I need and it is, yep, I can feel that gel there, a little bit sticky. So let's go ahead and look what comes in the four boxes. So I'm just gonna take one here. This is the actual path light. You can see here I have the hat style light. There's also an L-shaped style. I kind of like the hat. I think it's a little more traditional. This has a 72 inch wire lead with it. It's IP65 weather and it's a G4 fixture. The stake is gonna be in here as well as the light. So when you open up each box will look like this. Oh wow, this is heavy. Wow, I can't tell you enough how heavy this is. So this, it's heavy because it's solid brass. Oh yeah, look at kind of hear that there very thick I love the finish the black finish it's going to be able to withstand the heat the rain the weather Las Vegas love that okay so right here oh and I love that this is white so you know when the lights in there it's going to give that nice reflection onto the ground it's going to give a nice illumination so real smart there having that white Okay, this is a box and I don't know what's in it. It seems very light, so I'm gonna be very careful. Opening this up. Oh, I think, oh wow. <laughs> now that's a steak. Whoa, I've done lighting kits in the past and never has one been so thick. Um, this is this is pointy. This is going to be very helpful to me. My ground is solid. They call it like caliente rock. Um, it's very hard to dig into Vegas. That's why we don't have any basements here. So I'll wet the ground. This is going to be easy for me to, you know, push in there or rubber mallet it in however I need to do that. Wow, that's huge. Love that. Okay, I see a little. Oh, more of those caps. Okay, we showed you those before. So two actually come here. And then this is going to be my instructions and my actual stand. So, so not to mislead you, these are the actual bulbs. Because <laughs> I'm looking here and I'm like, oh, where's the bulb? We gotta plug it in. Look, there's the, the top. And now here we have the actual wires. I am not an electrician. I will say that off the bat. Mr. Stuff um, has some of the expertise to do this for me. So you can see there, there's gonna be a little wiring involved here. I'm gonna have him help me with this. 
Guys, when you touch the bulbs, it does say that oil from your skin can damage the bulbs. I have some of these um, white gloves. I want you to see the bulb. Gives you a good idea what that looks like. So what I need to do is plug the bulb into the top, which there's simply two holes. This is going to screw right on top. Nice and tight. And then we'll be going outside to work on this end and get it plugged into the electricity. Look at that. That is sharp. This reminds me of like, you know, living in Vegas. These are the kind of lights that they have like on the sidewalk when you walk up to the hotels. I could see this, um, you could use this in your driveway. You could use this along your back patio, like you have paver porch, that would be great. The complete outside lines of the property. You can expand this. Just because I have four here, I can go back and I can buy one at a time if I want. I can buy four, I can buy six. So this can grow with you for whatever kind of lighting project you're going to do. Garden Read has a great website. You can go straight to their website. They also sell on Amazon.com. They sell spotlights. You can put spotlights on this with it as well. Um, so I'm really excited to see what we can do with this. And this is just really, it's traditional. I love it. It's solid. It comes in, by the way, different colors. You don't have to get black. I chose black, but they have a nice, like a brass finish. And they also have a silver type finish. So you can take your choice of whatever finish. For me, black just, you know, worked. And in this bag, I can already tell, is the wire. Oh, wow. Oh, geez, this is heavy. This is 100 feet of 16 gauge, two conductor, low voltage landscaping cable. This comes, whoops. Um, I like this that they gave us a nice heavy gauge because, you know, the further out you go, the, the more of that heavy gauge you need so the current can travel down it. So I think this is this is great. And 100 feet is more than I need. This is going to be my transformer, my, my tap. Now this is where the electricity is going to be needed, right? This has to go somewhere. So let's take a look. So what I have here is an on-off switch, right here. Up here, right here, I could put a photo cell. I, I don't have the photo cell. I think I'm going to add it because then it can turn on and off by itself at night, which is really cool. This, of course, is the timer. And then right back here is the common plug, a 12 volt and the 15. So we're going to need to know all that when putting this together. And of course I have my front door. But looking in there, that's, I have it upside down too, guys, look. There you go. That's the right way. On off, common 1215 timer. And of course remember, anytime you're working electricity, have it unplugged. Um, we're not gonna we're not going to hook up the wire to this while it's plugged in. But now I can see why I need the flathead tool. Because if you look real deep in there, get you a good little light there. You can see where I'll need the screwdriver. Right on their website, they do the math to determine what voltage you need. Take a look at it here. Okay, and now another little lesson, if we're doing this ourselves. The writing side of this wire is hooked up to the common. When I look at the light, and Mr. Stuff, hand me that light, there is a little bit of writing on one of these. Like here, right here, I can see the writing. That's the common. That's what you hook up to the common here. Then into the transformer. So again, we're not electricians. The instructions are on there. 
I think this is a DIY do-it-yourself project you can do. If you're not confident, hire a task rabbit. <laughs> now can I get excited about digging up the yard and putting these in and it's going to be a whole, this is going to be like that hotel feel. I am so excited. Garden rate lighting, patio lighting, it's going to be great. So let's go start digging in the yard. So remember now your cord has to go through the hole and then out the side and then we'll go ahead and screw it down into the stake. There we go. So we'll see here what that looks like. Today's high is another 112, 113 degrees here in Vegas. Um, we actually can't get the stakes all the way down in the ground, so we're going to have to drill a hole. But you know what? I wanted to get these up so we could see them and we could decide if these are their final place and how many more I need to buy. So I'm getting ready to bring this outside. This is, of course, our power box. And we mounted it on this piece of wood um, that we're going to stick into the ground. And now we're going to get ready. You've got to get a wire stripper, guys, like, like the one I have here. See, strip each side. So we'll strip that, and then we'll get them connected. And then we're going to run the wire to the common and the 12 volt because we're only doing a short distance. And remember, the wire with the writing goes to the common. So you can see here, wire with writing. Making progress. So you twist the wires together and then cap it. We're doing this at night because it is so hot outside. That's okay. Cable okay, tomorrow, you always want to test before you bury the cable. And look at that. Wow, it is a beautiful white light. This is our test here. So we got to, you know, of course, we got to bury the cable. But look, it really lights up this path nicely. So right there, we've utilized about 24 feet. So I can see how I would want to add some more to this but it really shows the walking path really nicely. A very nice illumination. I like how it is hitting the brick wall. But I also like here how it's just illuminating the path. We use this gate a lot, so this is really nice that I can see the gate and into the backyard. So taking a look at the finished product, this is my Garden Reet Patio Pathway Lights. Look at the beautiful white light it gives off. We buried the cable. It looks fantastic. I love the way the light is hitting the wall. This really makes the walk into my backyard easy and well lit up. Guys, I'm going to have the link below that you can get set up for yourself. Look at that. 24 feet covered here. It is absolutely beautiful. I love it.
The Garden Reet Path Lights absolutely get the Terry Buy stuff. Big thumbs up. You get the big thumbs up for being here today. Guys, I'll have the link below. Check it out for yourself. I think this will make a great addition to your yard. As always, appreciate you, love you, happy shopping, and happy lighting the way with Garden Reet. We'll see you on the next round. Till then, guys. Bye.